I'm not beefing with no nigga. I'm not beefing with no other black men. We fucking allies. We on the same team. If you come from the same race I come from, we can't be enemies. We fucking brothers. You see what I'm saying? And that's the type of spirit that we really need to move in because we need to come together because it's power in numbers. I'm not beefing with no black man. If y'all want to do that shit, if I got friends and shit, and y'all want to be in tune with other niggas and shit like that, that's when y'all leave me out of that shit. We got a way bigger enemy to be fucking fighting against somebody that's my brother. It don't matter if I don't even fucking know you. If you a black man, we come from the same race. We are fucking brothers. You see what I'm saying? We're the same people. All our blood traced back to the same ancestors. That's what make us the same race of people. Stop the dumb shit, man. We got way bigger enemies. We got to start coming together. You see what I'm saying? Because that's where our power going to come in at. You know what I mean? All this extra shit. You see everybody else around the world, they could band together and fight for our cause for their people. We too busy fighting against each other and warring against each other. And then we got to compete for the scraps. Now, does that mean that um, I'm not going, you know, still be on point when it comes to niggas. I'm just going to let my guard down. No, that's not true. You know, because knowledge is power, you know, knowledge, right? So let's just say, how did they get America? Well, they had knowledge of how to build superior weapons, which gave them the edge when they was fighting against our brothers, native Americans. And then same thing goes on and on for everything. What gives them power today? Well, they have the knowledge of how to build nuclear missiles. Right. That's what gives countries the power. So it's all about knowledge. Knowledge is power. I got to have as much knowledge about anything that I'm involved in. But the point is, is what's more important than knowing who you are as a people and knowing who your allies is, which goes back to knowledge and knowing who your brothers is. We got to stop that beef and shit with each other, bro. We on the same team. We got to come together. When we come together. Then that's when we're going to start being uh, kings on the earth. That's when we're going to have our kingdom. You see what I'm saying? If they on the other side, they on the other side, stop all that feeling sorry for these other motherfuckers and these other people. I can't feel sorry for nobody else in the world until I, until we figure out what's going on with our people. Our people. I can't try to figure out somebody else's problems that they people going through when our people got all these problems. America fucking went and won the war for, I mean, let's just call it for what it is, the Jewish man, so-called Jewish man, but we gonna call them small hats, right? Because they wear the small hats, right? So, America went and fucking won the war for them, right? Took them to a land that's not theirs, bullied them, pushed them in the land, right? Um, Get them billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars yearly, right? Gave them weapons of mass destruction, nuclear missiles, iron domes, jets, all type of shit that you could only imagine, right? Allow them to come to America, get them supreme top notch, top notch treatment in America, and protection in America, which allows them to get ahead. I mean, these motherfuckers they run, they run the news, and they the news um industry, they run entertainment, Hollywood, the music industry, the jewelry industry. They at the top of that, which is billions and billions of dollars worth. In these industries, these are the top industries in the world, man. Jewelry, diamonds, gold. The motherfuckers run the money. The money that you use to do everything that you do in America, they run that because these rich banker families, nine times out of ten, most of the time, guess what? They're Jewish. When you go fucking look at the credit bureaus, you look at Experian, you look at Equifax, you look at TransUnion, and go look at the board of directors on there and count how many Jewish people are sitting on the board of directors and you need credit for every fucking thing. So America allowed them to do that. That's why we, Israel is the little horn, America is the big horn. So I can't fucking feel bad for none of y'all until America does for us, the so-called black man, what they did for the so-called Israel man. But they had never fucking do that. You see what I'm saying? They never, give us our own land, our sovereignty, and give us billions of dollars and see how great we be on earth. But the reason why they can't do that is because we're direct enemies, right, with the people that they're helping the most, right? Because they're helping those people steal our identity, claim to be the real Jews. When if you read the Bible, it's clear as day who the real Jews is. It's clear as day because it tells you the curses in the prophecies that will fit a certain type of people. And that's how you will be able to identify who the Jews are. And the only people on earth that fits that is the um, so-called black man, black man, Latino, Native American man. So that the problem is, is that we're direct enemies. So they're helping them steal our identity and steal our land. So they can't turn around and help us either. 
You see what I'm saying? So we don't have no help when it comes to man on earth. We went through what we went through is a hundred times more worse than what they went through. We went what we went through is a hundred times more worse, millions of times more worse than anything any other group of people on earth has went through. What we went through and we still here surviving. So that just shows you how strong we is. And the world really still follows us, even though we don't have power over these things. But the music industry, we at the top of that. We just don't run it. We just don't own it. The entertainment, Hollywood, sports, who you need, you, you got to come to the so-called black people in order to get a stamp of approval on anything. But we just don't own it. You see what I'm saying? So it's clear as day to show you on earth who really is supposed to be the rulers and the kings of the earth. We just got to get back to that point. We ain't going to have no help from man. So we got to come back together. They all conspiring together. Ain't none of these other nations come to try to help us. China ain't come and say, look, the way you treating your black, your black people over there, that's, that's against, um, international, whatever, you know, the UN rules or whatever that, um, the way, um, Russia didn't come over and try to help us. Didn't no fucking African country try to come over and help us. Saudi Arabia didn't fucking come over here and try to help us. Like, look what you guys doing to them. So it's, clear as day we gotta come together ourselves and then we gotta do something about it but we gotta come back with our lord you see what i'm saying we can't be following they false gods and shit that they put up on us i mean what a coincidence they came to america and they told the native americans the aztecs that they got was a devil and then they gave him a white jesus and then they said which which and then they said the name is jesus and i even the fucking way that you pronounce that name so which what, what's the name is it jesus or is it jesus what's the name because that's not the way you pronounce the name. You see what I'm saying? And the letter J didn't even fucking exist when he was walking the earth. So that can't be his name. You see what I'm saying? But then they put that in front of us, which is really just an image of them and told us to worship that. You see what I'm saying? So we got to come up out of that bullshit and we got to figure out who our God is. The true living God come back with him and we got to come back together. I'm not beefing with no niggas. We are brothers, period.